In order to print or plot a drawing, you should understand the concepts of model space and paper space. Every drawing includes two different environments, model space and paper space. By default, a model tab and several named layout tabs are displayed in the bottom left corner of the drawing area. Typically, when you begin working on a new drawing, the model tab is the current tab, which means that you are working in model space. You create actual drawing geometry in model space, and when you work in model space, you should create all geometry at full size at a scale of one to one. You can tell that you are working in model space because the model tab is the current tab. And in the status bar, you can see the word model. On the status bar, click model and the program switches to one of the layout tabs. The word on the status bar changes to paper. In addition, the display in the drawing area also changes to look like a sheet of paper. You may also see one or more windows within the sheet of paper that display the geometry you created in model space, but that geometry is now shown at a reduced scale so that it fits onto the sheet of paper. In the lower left corner of the drawing area, you can also see that the user coordinate system icon has changed to a paper space icon that resembles a drafting triangle. All of these changes help you to understand that you are now working in a paper space layout. Once you have switched to one of the layout tabs, if you click paper on the status bar, the program toggles back to model space, but now you are working in model space within the context of one of the windows within the sheet of paper. You can tell that you are working in model space because the word on the status bar once again says model. In addition, instead of the paper space icon in the lower left corner, you can see the UCS icon in the lower left corner of the model space viewport, the active window within the sheet of paper. When working in a model space viewport in a layout, when you pan, you change the position of the geometry within that viewport. And when you zoom, you change the magnification or scale of the objects within that viewport. But the size of the viewport remains the same in relation to the sheet of paper. On the status bar, click Model. Now the interface is back in paper space. You are once again working in the context of the sheet of paper. You can see the paper space icon in the lower left. Now, when you pan or zoom, you change the magnification or position of the entire sheet of paper on the screen. Double click inside the model space viewport and you are again working in model space within that viewport. When working on a layout, you can double click inside a model space viewport to switch to model space. If there was more than one model space viewport on this layout, you could use this method to switch to model space within the desired viewport. And to switch back to paper space, you can double click anywhere outside of a viewport. Double click inside the viewport again. Then, on the Home ribbon, in the Modify panel, click Erase and erase several of the chairs. Once you have done that, click the Model tab. Now you are back in Model Space, and that space fills the entire drawing area. Notice that the chairs you erased are no longer in the model. When you make changes to the drawing inside a Model Space viewport in a Paper Space layout, it is the same as if you made the change while working on the Model tab. When you make changes to the drawing inside a Model Space viewport, you actually reach through that viewport into Model Space. Typically, you will do most of your geometry modeling and editing on the Model tab. Then, 
you will use the layout tabs to establish how that geometry will be positioned on one or more sheets of paper prior to printing or plotting. On a layout, you can also create borders and annotations in paper space that are specific to that sheet of paper. After creating a layout, you may find it more convenient to switch to model space within the context of the layout to make minor changes to the model geometry. But if you need to make more extensive changes, it is easier to do so from the model tab.